dawn's early light. Partong Beach awakens. The day begins with promise. Partong Beach stretches before me, a canvas of golden sand. The sun peeks over the horizon, painting the sky in pastel hues. It's a moment of tranquility before Phuket springs to life. I slip off my sandals and wade into the warm Andaman Sea. The gentle waves lap at my ankles. Palm trees sway in the morning breeze. As I stroll along the shoreline, I spot locals starting their day. Fishermen haul in their morning catch. Vendors set up colorful beach umbrellas. The air fills with the aroma of fresh coffee and Thai breakfast treats. Soon, Patong will buzz with activity. But for now, I savor the calm. From the beach, we head to higher ground. Our destination, the iconic Big Buddha statue. It sits atop the knackered hills, visible from much of southern Phuket. The winding drive up offers stunning views of the island below. As we approach, the statue's sheer size becomes apparent. It stands 45 meters tall, gleaming white against the blue sky. Built from Burmese marble, it's a relatively new addition to Phuket's landscape. The site is more than just the statue. It's a complex of shrines and smaller Buddha images. Monks in saffron robes move quietly among the visitors. The air is thick with incense and the soft chiming of bells. I take a moment to sit and absorb the atmosphere. The view from up here is breathtaking. From spiritual heights, we descend into history. Phuket Old Town is a step back in time. Sino-Portuguese architecture lines the streets. It's a testament to the island's tin mining past and cultural melting pot. We start our walk on Palang Road, the heart of the old quarter. Colourful shop houses catch the eye at every turn. Many have been lovingly restored. They now house quaint cafes, boutique hotels and art galleries. The street is a photographer's dream. Midway through our stroll, we stop for a coffee break. The cafe is housed in a century-old building. Its walls tell stories of Phuket's past. I sip my iced latte and watch the world go by. Locals on motorbikes zip past tourists with cameras. It's a charming blend of old and new. Before leaving Old Town, we visit a few key sites. From historic streets to lush jungle, Phuket's diversity shines. Our next stop takes us to the heart of the island's interior. Here, among towering trees, we prepare for a thrilling zipline experience. The guides outfit us with harnesses and helmets. They explain safety procedures with a mix of professionalism and humour. I feel a mix of excitement and nerves as we climb to the first platform. The forest stretches out below, a sea of green. The first zip is always the most nerve-wracking. But as soon as I launch, fear turns to exhilaration. I soar through the canopy, the wind rushing past. Below, I catch glimpses of forest life. A colourful bird takes flight. A stream glistens in a patch of sunlight. We complete several more lines, each offering a unique thrill. The final zip is the longest and highest. It offers a panoramic view of the surrounding hills. Section 5. Flavours of Thailand, a local lunch delight. After the morning's adventures, our appetites are in full swing. We head to a local eatery, away from the tourist traps. Here, we'll sample authentic Thai cuisine at its finest. The restaurant is simple but bustling with locals, always a good sign. The menu is in Thai, but the owner happily translates. We opt for a variety of dishes to share. Some tam or green papaya salad arrives first. Its tangy, spicy flavors wake up our taste buds. Next comes Tom Yum Goong, the classic hot and sour soup. The fragrant lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves fill the air. Our main courses are equally delightful. Pad Thai, the famous stir-fried noodle dish, is perfectly balanced. The Mu Hong, a Phuket specialty of braised pork belly, melts in the mouth. We cool our palates with fresh coconut water, sipped straight from the fruit. Section 6. Island Paradise. Hopping and snorkelling. With our energy replenished, we're ready for an afternoon on the water. Phuket is surrounded by stunning islands, each with its own charm. We board a speedboat for an island hopping adventure. The sea breeze is a welcome relief from the midday heat. Our first stop is Koh Phai Phai, made famous by the movie The Beach. Its limestone cliffs rise dramatically from turquoise waters. We anchor in a secluded bay for our first snorkeling session. Beneath the surface, a colorful world awaits. Tropical fish dart among vibrant coral formations. 
Next, we visit the Kai Islands, a group of tiny islets. Here, the water is so clear it seems almost invisible. We have time for another snorkel and a quick sunbathe on the powder soft sand. The islands are small enough to walk around in minutes, yet feel like private paradises. Section 7, Golden Hour, Chasing the Perfect Sunset. As the afternoon wanes, we set our sights on the perfect sunset spot. Phuket offers many options, but we choose Promthep Cape. It's a popular choice, but for good reason. The cape juts out into the Andaman Sea, offering unobstructed views of the horizon. We arrive early to secure a good viewing spot. The cape is already filling with other sunset chasers. There's a festive atmosphere as people set up cameras and picnic blankets. A few vendors sell snacks and drinks. We grab a cold coconut and find a comfortable rock to perch on. As the sun begins its descent, the sky transforms. Shades of orange, pink and purple paint the clouds. The sea below reflects the colours, creating a mirror effect. It's a breathtaking display that seems to change by the minute. Cameras click furiously around us, but no photo can truly capture the moment. Just as the sun dips below the horizon, a round of applause breaks out. It's a spontaneous appreciation for nature's daily show. Section 8. Nightlife Extravaganza, Patong After Dark As night falls, Patong transforms. The beachfront promenade comes alive with lights and music. We dive into the heart of Phuket's famous nightlife scene. It's a sensory overload in the best possible way. Our first stop is Bangla Road, the epicenter of Patong's party scene. Neon signs flash overhead, music pumps from every direction, street performers and promoters vie for attention. It's chaotic and energetic, a stark contrast to our serene morning on the beach. We duck into a rooftop bar for a change of pace. From here, we can observe the street scene below while enjoying craft cocktails. The bartender mixes drinks with flair, using local ingredients like lemongrass and pandan. It's a taste of sophistication amidst the revelry. Hunger strikes, so we head to a beachfront seafood restaurant. Section 9. Cultural Crescendo Traditional Thai Performance To cap off our whirlwind day, we seek out a different kind of entertainment. Away from the thumping beats of Bangla Road, we find a traditional Thai cultural show. It's a chance to experience Thailand's rich performing arts heritage. The show takes place in a purpose-built theatre. As we take our seats, I'm struck by the ornate stage design. Gold leaf and intricate patterns adorn every surface. The performance is a journey through Thai folklore and history. Graceful dancers in glittering costumes tell ancient stories through movement. Masked corn performers act out scenes from the Ramakian, Thailand's national epic. The accompanying music, played on traditional instruments, adds depth to each scene. Section 10, getting around transportation tips for tourists. As our 24-hour Phuket adventure comes to a close, it's worth reflecting on how we navigated the island. Phuket offers various transportation options, each with its pros and cons. Understanding these can make your visit smoother and more enjoyable. For short distances in busy areas like Patong, walking is often your best bet. It allows you to soak in the atmosphere and stumble upon hidden gems. For longer trips, tuk-tuks are a quintessential Thai experience. They're open air and fun, but be sure to negotiate the fare before setting off. Renting a motorbike is popular among tourists, offering freedom to explore. However, it comes with risks. Phuket's roads can be chaotic, and accidents are common. For a safer alternative, consider renting a car. For our day trip, we used a ride-hailing app for longer journeys, which provided air-conditioned comfort and fixed prices. Section 11, sun and hydration, staying safe in paradise. Our 24 hours in Phuket were filled with excitement, but it's important to address safety. Phuket's tropical climate can be challenging for visitors. The sun is intense and dehydration is a real risk. A few simple precautions can ensure your visit is memorable for all the right reasons. Sun protection is crucial. The Thai sun can be deceptively strong, even on cloudy days. Apply a high SPF sunscreen regularly, especially after swimming. Wear a hat and sunglasses for extra protection. If possible, plan outdoor activities for early morning or late afternoon to avoid the strongest midday rays. Staying hydrated is equally important. The heat and humidity can quickly deplete your body's water reserves. 
carry a reusable water bottle and refill it often. Coconut water, widely available on the island, is a great natural source of hydration and electrolytes. 